Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. Just looking if it was the mammoth. I think I have to go back in there. That's where I keep my ammo, in a box, you know. <laughs> Saw something. What? What the hell was that? I saw it from the window. I saw it. I saw something. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens. But she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck his long dead marriage had been. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. 
There's a uh, supply box back here. I don't know if it's a supply box, but I know you can get a you get a shotgun back here. Not that I don't know. That's the end all be all, but it's something. Moonshiner spot, huh? Okay, right there it was. Up there. Now, pretty much from this part, this part of the game forward, or this episode forward, it's mainly all action. All the uh, the storytelling is pretty much. I mean, there's some, but the major slow parts are over now. Now it's just axe wielding dudes running at you in the woods. I'd say the best way I could describe this game is it it suspense susp suspense horror but I would say it's it's pretty uh survival horror as well because you got to make sure you got ammo or you are going to be in serious trouble especially later in even this first or second episode cuz you're going to see later they they throw a lot of dudes at you and and they they keep getting faster nobody in bright falls seemed to know where al was but rose the waitress at the diner had seen him from what barry could tell al pretty much fell off the face of the earth when he left the diner rose was just the kind of fan that al hated but she really tried to help she was smart too knew a lot about what was going on in the town knew a lot about al even knew who barry was Barry liked her. That was no big surprise. When it came to women, Barry and Al rarely saw eye to eye. I wonder if writers have groupies. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Maybe 10, 15 years ago or something. I would think for the most part, people don't really read as much as they used to. Hear that sound? That's the sound of axe wielding dudes in the woods. Kinda glad I got my uh, surround sound headsets going. Maybe I can hear them a little bit better. Yeah, I'm a football player. Woohoo! A little too close. Yeah! Dang it. I think you gotta. There we go. Shotgun's pretty good on him. Hey, yeah.
It's hard not to overuse the light, you know. And the uh, the Dodge has like a uh, recharge on it. So like for me, I, I tend to uh, spam it once in a while, which gets me in trouble. Yeah, like I care about a tree, you know, right now. Hey, you should read this sign. No thanks. Whoa! second there's a uh, yeah it's easy to miss there's a path that goes up here oh where you come from wow there's always more than one and they always sneak up on you so wait I'm gonna shoot you ah! Okay, there's a shotgun and a bunch of needed ammo up here. You definitely want to make sure you get up here because uh, I believe there's another big guy down here. I ran out of ammo down here a couple times. Not a good thing. There's like a light up there, but you have to pull the generator to start it. That, that's not real fun. Oh, that's weird. Last time I went through here, there was another spawn behind me here. friend if I fall down there. Probably nothing good. Okay, this next part. Super gnarly. I turned the corner, afraid of what the flashlight's beam might reveal. Suddenly, a roughly painted symbol of a torch glowed in the light. Behind it, hidden by a rock, sat a battered metal trunk. It was here for a reason. Packed with supplies, batteries, flares, ammo. Things you need to make it through the darkness of the night. Something left behind by someone who knew what I knew. And more. That was that box we picked up in the cave. Pretty sure, anyway. Okay, this part 
can be gnarly. Um, just got to make sure you know where you are so you can back up and, and funnel them into this area. Because otherwise... Uh, It's easy to run into trees and boulders and we'll see how it goes. They killed me bad in here a couple times. As I sit and take a freaking throwing axe to the face. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Caught. Oh, shit. oh, they're gonna get me. Nothing I can do. Oh, I get out. I got out. Oh, yeah, I got caught on that rock. There's like one big guy, and then there's like, I'm pretty sure four or five really small, fast dudes. It seems like at first I thought they were infinite spawn or something. What I like to hang around with. And when I'm in the woods, I always bring a sickle, just in case. All right, maybe this will work better. Dude, they're pretty fast, man. It got ah. Oh, there, got one down. Reload. Two. Come on. Oop, miss. Don't mind me. <laughs> Another one coming back up. Shotgun. Ooh, dodge too quick. <laughs> All right, that'll work. There's something over here. Okay, there's nothing. See how long he can run before he falls over. Eh, pretty far. All right, guys, I think I'm going to stop it right here, and we'll pick it up in the next video. I'm pretty sure we at least have an hour left, um, you know, surviving axe murderers in the woods here. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, guys, if you if you were having fun with these Let's Plays, I definitely would appreciate a like, and let me know what you think of this game in the comments below. You can get it actually pretty pretty cheap. Uh, I actually got it for like, I think three bucks digital off of uh, some website or something. So it was, it's actually really cheap and uh, Microsoft actually released the uh, two DLCs for free if you own the game. So it's, it's actually a really good deal. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and stay awesome.